What's up, guys? Prince Sports here. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. We're going to do something different in front of my house that we're building. We're going to do a nighttime edition video. <laughs> I'm here in the wildness, surrounded by wild dogs, you know. But they, they got my back, though. So any intruder comes by, I got my dogs to hold me down. Let me see if I can get some lighting over here. Okay. Now, it seems much better from this light. We're going to do a little... Uh, new edition I like to call what's more important okay let's go back to 2013 okay Miami Heat versus the San Antonio Spurs what is more important LeBron's fourth quarter performance or the big shot by Ray Allen now let's break down LeBron's performance okay he scores a bunch of points in the fourth quarter okay his headband gets knocked off his head. He goes into a beast mode. He gets angry. It's a type of LeBron that you should see in the finals all the time. But nevertheless, he gets angry. He goes on a scoring tear. But the last crucial minutes of the game, he shoots the three to try to tie the game, breaks it. Uh, the ball bounces off the rim. Chris Bosh tips it to Ray Allen. Ray Allen does a step back three, hits the three, and knocks it down. OK, so even though the Miami Heat won the series, LeBron came back in game seven to help his team win. But that's not what's important here. What's important is the Miami Heat were a game. That game was do or die for the Miami Heat. If they lose that game, it's over. So it's fair to say Ray Allen not only saved LeBron James, but he saved Dwayne Wade. He saved Chris Bosh. He saved the whole Miami Heat team. Okay? And. Oh, okay. I thought somebody called me for a minute. Um, he saved the whole Miami Heat team. All right? And keep this in mind. LeBron could, score, could have scored 30 points in the fourth quarter. All right? But if that game, if they're still down and... <laughs> It comes down to a final play and you don't produce you still lose regardless if you have a good three a good um fourth quarter or not if you can't close that game all those points that you score in the fourth quarter don't lead to a win you still have to close the game out that's what it all comes down to closing it out something lebron could not do ray allen did so to me the most important shot of that game was ray allen did he save LeBron's legacy with that shot? Yes. Okay, because without that shot, LeBron James will bend seven finals losses, okay? Six is enough finals losses. That's a lot of losses to have in the finals. It's borderline Jerry West material, okay? But to lose or come close to losing, it you have to close the game out, period. Okay, now I know what you may be thinking. Well, John Paxson hit that shot in 1993 for Jordan. Did he bail them out? No, he did not bail them out because that was not a closing game for the Chicago Bulls. They had one more game to play. Okay, game seven, any game could have happened. Not saying the Bulls would have won, not saying the Bulls would have lost, but they still had a game seven. It wasn't do or die. That was do or die for um, LeBron James. And if you don't hit that shot, what you didn't, you would have lost. Ray Allen hit the shot. He saved the day. So basically, with that being said, what's more important, LeBron's performance or Ray's? I'm giving the nod to Ray Allen because at the end of the day, it's about closing when you're in a, uh, a closeout game like that. So addition number one goes to Ray Allen. The shot is more important than LeBron's fourth quarter scoring. Peace. I'm out.